Wrexham are one of the oldest clubs in the world, but yet they have nothing to show for it. The most notable things about their club are the owner and the fans. We're going to change that. We're going to take Wrexham right to the very top. And by we, I mean this man, the best centre back of a generation, Milton Coimbra. Massive Milton, as they call him. Not only for his stature, but his tripod like build. To begin, we had to get to know what was expected from us. Very decent budget for a National League side. This is the team they reckon we should play. Five back. I don't like five backs. I hate David Moyes when he tries it. Oh. Paul Mullin is the main man, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he jumped down like three divisions. He's playing against children, essentially. Right, so we want to win promotion from League Two. Be competitive in the FA Cup. That must be the Europa League or the FA Cup. We don't meet the press. We're very much a mysterious man. As a surprise to no one, I'm not a massive Wrexham fan. And other than the occasional TikTok, I don't keep massive tabs on them. It took me a little while to just get adjusted to what I'm working with. Comparison. I used the comparison screen, which is honestly massive. It really gives you a good idea of what you're working with. And in terms of wage and everything, we're clearly outspending. We are very capable. We can have like a little bit of nuance in our play. Okay, the defence ain't good. I had a quick look at some players. Ball playing centre back ain't gonna be a thing this low down. Maybe it is. That's why he's big down here. 15 finishing. Other than his role, he looks good. I just don't think pressing forwards is a real position. But I don't like pressing forwards. That's just nothing. And as you'd probably expect from this low down, we didn't really have a plan B to work with. I mean, other than this one massive fucking target man. Okay, so Oli Palmer is our backup. In case, um, Paul Mullen don't work out. And this right here just sums up perfectly the foray into this team. Not much to note of, to be fair. I mean, we had a few decent looking prospects. Another winger who's just not very fast, but it's nothing you wouldn't find at your local five side. Wing back that can't cross, brilliant. I don't remember seeing this person. He's an attacking wing back who can't really go forward very well. And then I had to get involved with all the staff. Add Morris, who's keeping? We don't want a director of football. I'll take him as a scout. No, I'm not taking you as a fucking director of football. Honestly, it's my favourite and my least favourite part of this fucking game. I love to micromanage. I love to make sure everyone's as good as they can be. And despite how it looks superficially, it looks like we've got brilliant staff. It's a mess. We've got no recruitment. Fuck me, this guy should be a scout. Or a coach. Got the one job you shouldn't have. You could be a coach and a scout. No, you're not being... <sighs> and then came along the team meeting. And I normally don't give that much thought to it. I oh. just kind of do it. But this time I gave them promises I thought they'd like. Okay. Until I started bringing up winning the league, they didn't care. Morale gone up already. And I was being deadly serious when I say I micromanage. I spent like another 15 minutes just finding staff. If I don't even know if they make a measurable difference, I just did it. 75 years old. This guy, I need to have like some sort of death clause in his contract. Alton Carper. Huh? Car huh? Carlin Carpenter. I don't know what I just said. This is genuinely my idea of fun. And then we needed a normal analyst. We need a recruitment, recruitment analyst. Uh, Carlin Carper. Huh? Uh, Car I can't say his name. What is wrong with me? Now it's time to get into the bit that most people find fun. The transfers. First place we got to go is free agents. I mean, we've already established that the defence is probably going to be the key issue. Danny Simpson. That is an accomplishment. <laughs> That is a well-travelled man. So it was natural that I was looking at options to just strengthen that back line. Winston Reid. Oh my god, wait. We can get him. He's a bit injury prone though. And some attacking options that aren't defensive wingers wouldn't go amiss. Jerome Sinclair. David Nugent. Oh my god, this is a trip down memory lane. Right, a message to Niall Ranger here. Yeah. And listen to me, just completely waxing lyrical about this man. I'd love him. This could be a dream partnership. We've got to bring him in. I love Winston Reid. Little do I know, because of my just complete lack of any peripheral vision. What work permit? I can't get him. Even after... Oh, fuck. I love him, though. We'll offer him a trial. On the run-up to our first game, we had quite a few friendlies to get through. Okay, this guy's already making a good impression. He's training well. He's coming into the squad. To be fair, I kind of compounded this issue because I booked another friendly against Liverpool. But I thought it'd be a nice test. And you know, the money obviously sweetens it a little bit. Yes! Money. We're in the money. We are going to get fucking spanked. The games didn't go too well. We'll leave it all basic and just see how we get on. See what we excel in. All right. We drew 1-1 to whoever the fuck these lot are. Should be beating them every every single time. It's actually mad what one poor result can do. If we're playing a free back, that might work. We could have him tuck in as the right centre back. He's small. That's the issue. 
okay, he didn't accept. And then I had to really step up the scouting game. Tommy Miller on the case. It just wasn't going well. This guy could be good. I mean, where did he play last? In Bulgaria. Got one goal in 18 appearances. Uh, lack of determination to hinder him. Yeah, that's the issue. And he doesn't like big matches. Fuck me. That's why you ain't getting offers. I did all that deliberating for you to just be a twat. We just kept getting awful player. He can play everywhere, but he can't do anything well. After awful player, he's aggressive and slow. Ocaflex. I like him. I mean, he's a bit of a nonce as well. She's one of them ones, yeah. She'll probably be paying when she's older. For never to see that from young. But that's never stopped me from signing anyone. We even had a few just get nabbed from us. Yeah, some good teams are in for him, which is a good indicator, to be fair. Going to fucking Rotherham. No, 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 no. He looks like a real talent as well. But then we finally hit one. We found the little gem. George McEttron would be a good signing. Would be a very good signing. We've got to sign him. Not good jumping, selfish. I don't mind selfish. Good passing, good technique, good vision-ish, good flair. All right dribbling, good first touch. This is the player we need. We're missing this type of player. This is him. That's what I'm talking about! Right, this could be an issue. This could be the start of something really special. He could be a club legend. The only problem with this whole transfer is this right here. I don't like the fact he can be an enganch though. That suggests he might be a bit lazy. Got him on relatively low money. Off the back of such an incredible signing, it's only fair that I do the appropriate media. Let's attend it. Everyone's a bit downcast. Why are we downcast? We just made a massive signing. Why are you negative? Okay, I'm leaving. This is... Awful, no one's having any response. George McEttron can become a top, top player. Is Steve Parkin Harry Redknapp? Really now, I didn't want to say this in front of him, but he will go right to the very top. Right to the very top. I then proceeded to get onto some more pressing targets. Look at them stats, man. Good leader. We'll try and push it through anyway. He ain't gonna get one, is he? 13th of July, we've got five days, come on. In the meantime, with the B team, the fact Reeds just can't get a work permit is a true indictment into how ridiculous the post-Brexit rules can be. I'm no immigration officer, but surely spending the best part of a decade in a country and paying a lot of tax is enough to get a permit. Uh, oh my god. Okay, we've got a scout who got a work permit. Oscar Bob. He looks good. Oh, he's online from Man City. I hate that. I hate when they catfish you like that. Would be a practical signing. Who wants him? Gateshead. That's not quite my level. With the most recent signing, we only really had one more hole to fill. We need to get a left back in. If we could loan a left back. He looks good. He's originally from Tottenham. I don't know if that means anything though. I want to temper expectations of his game time. I've kind of just been bent over a barrel. Despite the pretty decent depth we have at the back, especially for a National League team, I still wasn't massively satisfied with our quality. We need someone who's not geriatric. When he with like Iskra Lawrence or something. Yeah, he can't, he can't dribble or cross. He's essentially a centre back. Quite tall, a bit strong. This would actually be a good signing. For whatever reason, slight interest in a former Premier League player just opened the floodgates for other Premier League alumni. Yeah, I can't afford the 16k a week. Our preseason success only continued, but we need to pad this out a little bit. Dan Davis looks good. Oh wow, free passing at his age. The current youth system is about as uninspiring as you could possibly get. No, would have been an unreal signing. There's not much we can do without a work permit. But some brilliant news was just around the corner. Rob Layton's back. The fat bastard. I get called a fat bastard. <laughs> After giving the scouts a good talking to, they finally started to find some young talent. The scouts are giving me some decent players. Uh, it was this guy, isn't it? We'll shortlist him for now anyway. Cole De Silva, he's 23. Uh, he could be of use now. How much is this guy looking at? Evidently, young Andre just couldn't get enough of me. So I just thought, let's just get this ball rolling. Uh, seven grand a week. You absolute cunt. I told the agent, mate, this is just way too high, but this cock block of an agent just weren't having it. He's not bringing it down. And this same rigmarole just continued. Isaiah Brown, he'll be a star player apparently. Vice captain, you're not being vice captain. Okay, you want to be vice captain. You're not a leader. What a prat! Oh, for fuck's sake, just ask for what you want. He's just going to reject this outright. There's no way he thinks this is enough. 
Do physically sick, to be honest. 18 grand a week. Come on. Okay, accepted. We'll have a backup left back at the very least. At least someone was finally fucking happy to put pen to paper. Okay, let's attend it. I do need a bit of help. I genuinely believe that my staff are working on commission for this cunt. They were actually just shoveling him down my throat and then they proceeded to recommend no one else. What a waste of my time. But evidently, I was correcting my pursuits of these more aspirational targets. Yeah, Andre Wisdom, he's coming in. Never thought I'd say that sentence. He would be a star player, I reckon. Eight grand a week, too much. Brilliant, as if it can get any worse. Our last friendly is against a mid-table Premier League team. You know what, we're gonna be positive against Liverpool. We are gonna get fucking destroyed. 3-1, that's not bad. A strong team to be f- mm. Darwin Nunez. After the recent incident with Rotherham, I didn't really feel like losing any more young talent. No, 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 no. You can't go wrong with that much money. You 100% can. Oh shit. Oh my God. After the recent injury, there was a real poor feeling in the dressing room. Why is this team cohesion poor? But luckily, as the immense man manager that I am, I sorted that out straight away. There we go. As you might have clocked on to this point, I get fixations on certain things. If I go all out for Andre Wisdom, I want him. Oh. I'm tiring myself out just talking about him. This will be the last signing probably. That is big. Thank you very much. Big. That's big. I'm happy with that. You can hear me smiling. Get him in just before the beginning of the season. Look at that, star player. And then we got him in as well. Oh my God. And Slade. Slade's the biggest one of them all. Giggs is not going in my team. Oh, gee. Really? <laughs> really? If we want a chance at competing with the big boys, we need to start wiring the world. At least I would have if our scouting budget allowed it. 240k. I need to get Europe. Erwin's tour has been cancelled. The first game was upon us and, rightly or wrongly, the fans and the hitman's bodyguard expected big things. Looking forward to see entertaining football, George McKetron and Andre Wisdom. I don't know if this is a bit too complex. Like most people do 442. Here we go. Okay, we haven't had a shot yet. What? We managed to get ourselves a penalty at the end of the first half. Oh. From what I can only assume was a handball. Okay, I'll take the pen. This twat not only managed to miss the penalty, but also fuck up the rebound. Well, Andre Wisdom's gonna have to come off. Well, what a debut. Comes on, gets injured. But we managed to get a goal just after half time, and then we quickly made it two. Good finish. There's no VAR in this league either. I can actually enjoy it. I used the extent of my tactical now. We like the left side to try and analyze this pass map. Obviously, it's always going to run through O'Connell. Andy Cannon's quite high up. George McKetron's not high up enough. Because if he's coming in, he's becoming like a second striker. And I want him to operate in this area here. This is the type of analysis you only get on Monday Night Football. I never, th I bet I never thought you'd be interviewed by me. <laughs> so he can operate in this hole that he leaves behind. And he can get up and down, up and down. Let's keep it tight. Clean sheet bonus for everyone. We conceded one for good measure. Okay, no clean sheet bonus for everyone. That's good for the finances though. But it wasn't long before we made our goal differential go back up. Okay, and then some fucking idiot decides to get sent off in the last kick of the game. You fucking idiot. Fucking sick. Andre Wisdom had a good game apart from the injury. Fuck's sake, he's literally just come in. 